virtual reality has regained popularity in recent years with a variety of hardware available. However, support for locomotion remains limited. Free walking has shown to be effective for natural VR immersion. But how could it work for virtual and real scenes with different sizes and shapes while keeping users away from obstacles? We present a method to map between virtual and physical worlds. Users can walk freely in the physical world, with locations mapped in the virtual world. Our system guides users to stay within the real environment and away from physical obstacles. And renders the virtual world into the head-mounted display. The rendering preserves virtual world appearance and fits physical world geometry. We attach a rigid body motion capture tracker on top of an Oculus head mounted display. It is connected to a laptop and a lightweighted uninterruptible power supply. Our experiments run in a 33 feet by 19 feet room, with 24 motion capture cameras equipped along floor and ceiling edges. Our method consists of two key components. The first is a planar map between the virtual and real world floor plans. Our method allows proper folding of large virtual scenes into small real scenes, and thus does not require bijectivity. It focuses on preserving walking angle and distances for VR navigation. and guides users away from boundaries or obstacles. The second key component is a rendering method that observes virtual scene appearance and real scene geometry. Direct rendering of the virtual world may cause motion sickness due to mismatch between the virtual and real world geometry. Direct rendering of the real world on the other hand, may show highly occluded and warped geometry caused by folding a large virtual scene into a small real scene. Our method balances the two, so that users can faithfully perceive the virtual world while comfortably walk in the real world. We perform a user study of our system. Our method can automatically map a virtual scene to different real space shapes and sizes. Note that in this case, we use only half of the room to simulate a smaller available space. Conversely, different virtual scenes with different shapes and sizes can also be mapped into a same real room. Here is another virtual scene with an indoor gaming environment. Our method can also be suited for other applications for architecture walkthrough and medical imaging.
Thank you.